G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is some probability shortcuts used to solve some more complex probability questions. So uh, sit back and enjoy. And if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. So I'm just going to launch straight into this. I'm going to just be going through a few different questions and get you used to these. So let's go. So the very first question we have is this one. A bag contains seven balls. A bag contains four yellow and three blue balls. What is the probability of choosing two yellow and one blue ball out of that? So we're going to be choosing three balls. So here's our bag here. We're going to try and choose two yellow and one blue and see what the probability of that is. Now to do this, it's going to be really, really handy if we use uh, combinations. So I'm going to do a quick recap of how to do basic combinations right now. This goes for about a minute. So you might want to skip this over if you're already familiar with this. Okay, quick recap on combinations. Combinations, we're literally saying how many different ways we can select R different objects from a total of N, okay, from a bigger group. And it's this scary looking formula here, which really is not very scary at all once you get into it. So how many different ways can we select two different objects from a total of five? The way we'd work this out, okay, so we're selecting two different objects from a total of five. So we're going to go uh, five, C2, and we're going to follow this rule here. So n factorial literally is 5 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, and this is all going to go over n take away r factorial. So n take away r, 5 take away 2 is 3 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1, and this is going to be multiplied by r factorial, which is 2 factorial. 2 times one. Now you're going to see here what happens is this cancels out. Okay, uh, the three, two and one here cancel out here. So really all we're left with is uh, this particular part here, this five times four over two times one. Now I'm going to show you this shortcut how you can get away with not doing all of this. Literally, when we're selecting two objects out of five, so we're going to do this five factorial, but we're only going to come out this R times. Okay, so five times four. Okay. We're not going to do the whole bit. So it's only five factorial and coming out two times. And then we're just going to have the two factorial on the bottom. And we're going to be using this for our probability question coming up. Okay, so now you've got the basics of combinations there. Let's go through and solve this. Now, just a little thing here. You're going to notice that we have an and here. This quite literally means we are going to be multiplying as we go along. If it's an or, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding. Okay, so this is a pretty much a common thing with probability. So how many different ways can we choose uh, from four balls to yellow balls? And that's the way we'd write that, yeah? We're going to be multiplying that by, uh, for the blue balls, how many different ways from three balls can we choose one of them? And this is all going to go over for the total number of uh, combinations that we could have for choosing three balls out of seven. And how much is that? Well, that's going to be, uh, so seven... C3. So what we can do now is we can go through and we can solve this. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, uh, so what's this mean here? This means, as you just saw before, 4 times 3. We're going to go 4 factorial, but we're only going to come out 2 times. And this is going to go over 2 factorial, 2 times 1. This is going to be multiplied by uh, the blue stuff here, the, the combinations of the blue ones. We're literally coming out 3 factorial, but only 1 times, which is 3. And this is going to go over 1 factorial. The total number of outcomes we have is, well, we have 7 factorial, but it's only coming out 3 times. So 7 times 6 times 5. And this is all going over 3 factorial. 3 times 2 times 1. Now we can go through and solve this. You can see we can work this out fairly simply here, okay? So let's work out our little bits here. We have 4 times 3, which is 12 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2, this is equal to 6. Times 3 over 1, well, this is just equal to 3. Okay, so what do we have here? 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 times 2 times 1. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, so this cancels this part here out. And 7 times 5 is 35. So what do we have now? 6 times 3 is 18. This is over 35. And that's our answer. This is how you can go through and solve these types of questions really, really simply. What about I give you one to do right now? 
Okay, so here's one for you to give a go to. A bag contains four yellow and four blue balls. Altogether, that's eight balls. What's the probability of choosing out of this two yellow and two blue balls? So we're going to be choosing four balls from this. So use your combinations and go through and do this. So first off for the yellow balls, how are we going to do this? We are trying to choose uh, out of four, two yellow balls. We're going to be multiplying because we have an and here. So this means we're going to be multiplying. We're going to be multiplying this by, for the blue balls here, uh, we're trying to get out of four blue balls. We're trying to get two of them. This is all going to go over. You're going to see here for the total number that we have, uh, out of a total number of eight balls, we are trying to get four of them. So we're literally going to go through and solve like this. Okay, so what does that equal? Okay, <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, so uh, we have four factorial, but it's only coming out two times, so four times three, and that's going to go over two factorial, so two times one. This is going to be multiplied by, uh, okay, same thing, four times three over two times one, okay, because it's the same sort of thing. Okay, and this is going to go over, okay, we're going to come out eight factorial, we're coming out four times, so eight times seven times six times five, and this is going to go over four factorial, four times three times two times one. So we can solve this now, okay? So uh, how are we going to go do that? So four times three is equal to 12 divided by two is equal to six. So this is going to be equal to six, and that's also going to be six. Six times six, that's going to be on the top there, okay? On the bottom here, well, we're going to probably want to do a bit of cancelling out, okay? Two times three is equal to six, okay? We can also cancel out here where we can go uh, eight divided by four is two, and four divided by four is one. So we've got rid of all the bottom there. So two times uh, seven times five is equal to 70. Okay, what does this equal? Six times six is 36, and this is over 70. So the probability of choosing two yellow and two blue balls out of this particular uh, scenario here is 36 out of 70. So what do you think of that? It's a nice, easy trick, right? Uh, <laughs> start getting these under your belt. They're not too bad. Now I'm going to go to the next uh, difference that we can have with this one, okay? Okay, this is the next type of question. A bag contains five yellow and three blue balls, as you can see here. So all up, we have a total of eight balls. And what's the probability of choosing two yellow or two blue balls? Now you can see the difference here is this word here, or. Now, instead of multiplying, this means what we're going to be doing is adding, okay? So let's go through and do this, okay? Uh, it's the same sort of idea here. So for the yellow balls here, we have uh, from five, we're going to be choosing two. Uh, we're going to be then adding this to, I'll put an addition there, and we're going to be adding this to, uh, for the blue balls here, from three, we're going to be choosing two. All of this is then going to go over uh, well, our total outcomes here, which is going to be, uh, so we're going to be choosing two balls, as you can see. Um, so 8C2. <laughs> now let's go through and work this out. All right, no problems here. Okay, so first off, I'll put a line that this is all going to go over, and let's just work this out now. So this is literally going to be 5 times 4 over 2 times 1. Okay, because that's what it's going to be, right? This is going to be added to uh, this part here. Now, this one here, we're literally coming out three times two times, and this is going to go over two times one. All right, and on the base here, you're going to see here this 8C2, uh, two being chosen from eight here, we're literally going to be coming out from eight, we're going to come out to seven, and that's all because we're only coming out two times, and this is going to go over two times one. Now, the only difference here you're going to see is this addition here rather than multiplication. So we can go through and solve that now. So what does this equal? Well, the yellow part here, the first part, 5 over 4 is equal to 20, divided by 2 is equal to 10. This is going to be added to, well, 3 times 2 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. All of this is then going to go over 8 times 7, 7 8 to 56, okay, divided by 2 is 28. 
Okay, so what does this equal now? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 10 plus 3 is 13. 28 stays as 28. So the probability of this occurring is 13 over 28. So how'd you go with that? All right, what about I give you an example here? Okay, this is your turn. A bag contains four yellow and seven blue balls. That's 11 balls altogether. What's the probability of choosing two yellow or, <laughs> that means in addition there, two blue balls. So we're gonna be choosing two balls. So what about you give this a go? So for the first one here, you can see that from four balls, we're trying to choose two. Uh, to this, we are going to be adding, for the blue balls here, we're trying to choose uh, from seven balls, two balls, okay? This is all gonna go over, okay? A total number of combinations here. We are choosing, uh, from 11 balls, we're choosing two. So let's work this out now. So this is equal to the following. Okay, so four C2 is equal to four times three over two times one. Okay, and this is gonna be added to, because this is an or, to combinations for the blue balls here. We are gonna be literally going seven times six, because we're only coming at two times, over two times one. All of this is then gonna go over 11 C2, which is gonna be 11 times 10 over <laughs> two times one. So let's go through and solve this now and see what this equals. So for the first part here, what we have is uh, four times three, which is 12 divided by two, this is equal to six. This is gonna be added to seven sixes of 42, divided by two is 21, so 21. So this part here is gonna be 11 times 10, which is 110 divided by two, which is 55. What does this all equal? Well, six plus 21 is equal to 27. And this is gonna be over 55. So that's the probability of choosing two yellow or two blue balls out of this particular bag here. So what do you think of that? A nice handy little trick? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you one more question and this is gonna be a fair bit harder because what we're gonna do is now combine these ideas. Okay, for our last question here, we have a bag that contains eight balls and we're gonna be choosing four out of it. Uh, that contains five yellow and three blue balls. And what we're seeing is the probability of choosing either three yellow and one blue ball or choosing two yellow and two blue balls, okay? So this is a bit more complex now. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna first off work out this part and we're gonna work out this part, okay? And then we're gonna work out that total probability. Okay, so first off, this particular part here, this three yellow, one blue ball. Okay, so what is that? For our yellow, we are trying to choose uh, from five, we are trying to choose three balls. We are gonna be multiplying this by, and this goes for our blue balls here, we've got three blue balls, and we're trying to choose one out of it. So, that there. Okay, this is gonna be added to the following. Okay, so we're gonna be dealing now with this particular part here. We are from five balls, seeing how many ways we can choose two of them, and to this we are gonna be multiplying this by the number of different ways. We could choose these two balls here out of the three. So three, C two. All of this is then gonna go over our particular total combinations here, which is gonna be uh, eight, C four. Wow, that's pretty nasty, right? Nah, you can do it. Okay, so let's just work this out. We're gonna five C three. This is gonna get changed to five times four times three over three times two times one. Okay, this is gonna get multiplied by three C one, which is gonna be equal to, okay, the number of different ways we could do that, which is just gonna be equal to three over one. To this, we're gonna be adding five C two. So we're literally gonna be coming out uh, from five factorial two times, so five times four, and this is gonna go over two times one. This is gonna get multiplied by three C two. So Literally, what does this mean? Uh, well, it means that we're gonna be going three times two, we're coming at two times, and we're gonna put this over two times one. Now, eight C four, this means we're choosing four from a total of eight here. It means that when we do this, we are going to be getting the following, okay? Uh, we're gonna get eight times seven times six times five, we're coming at four times, and this is gonna go over four factorial, four times three times two times one. 
Wow. Okay, so let's go through now and work this out. Okay, I'm going to work it out in situ. Okay, so 5 times 4 times 3. This is equal to 60 divided by 6. This is going to be equal to 10. 3 divided by 1. Well, this is equal to 3. Now, we're doing all right. Hopefully, I haven't made a mistake yet. 5 times 4, which is 20, divided by 2. This is equal to 10. Oh, man, I'm really hoping I have made a mistake on this one. 3 times 2 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So, I'll put a 3 down there. Okay, so what have we got? 10 times 3 plus 10 times 3. Okay, we should be able to do that. So, let's work out this bottom part. I reckon we do a bit of cancelling out. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And 3... And 6, well, we can just multiply by 2 here instead. So let's work this out now. Okay, 10 times 3 is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. So 30 plus 30 is 60. Okay, 7 times 5 is 35. Times 2 is 70. Okay, divided by 1 is just 70 there. So this is 60 over 70. So wow, I hope I got the right answer there anyway. I think I did. I think I did. But... You're going to see what a really, really great trick that is. It's a bit of a mental gymnastics and that sort of deal, but once you get it sorted out, there's absolutely no problems. Anyway, tell me how you went with that video. Tell me how you went with that particular trick. Hopefully it was some help to you. I must say it was a fairly diabolical trick to put down on video. So uh, <laughs> please like and please subscribe. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.